I know we're looking forward to Halloween and everything, but I want to talk about today, this mm -hmm. approaching records. Are we uh, having a 4th of July cookout right? outside Let's here uh, after the 5 o'clock show? <laughs> we should. Might as well. Uh, yeah. I got my sleeveless dress on for there today. It, it, what a, this is incredible. And yes, it is official. We've tied the record okay. high temperature uh, that was set back in 1922 uh, by getting up to 81 degrees uh, within the last hour. Let's t head out to these beautiful scenes from our river camp. Would you look at that? The boats are out again, and they've been out in full force here uh, for much of the day. Eldridge Roofing River Cam on just a beautiful, beautiful uh, Tuesday in the state line. Uh, that's the unofficial tally. We did again just get word from the National Weather Service so about 10 minutes ago that 81 degrees will officially go down as the high temperature today, which does break uh, tie the record set back uh, 102 years ago today. Now, just to give you some perspective of how rare this is, going all the way back to 1905, this is just the ninth time to see a high temperature of 80 degrees or above on or after today's date. Last time this happened, 1950. So we can all sit here and say, or the vast majority of us can say, this has not happened in our entire lifetimes. Temperatures right now are down into the upper 70s. Dew points beginning to climb, so the relative humidity is starting to come up, which is good news. Not enough to completely eradicate the fire danger, but it should serve to reduce it here in short order. You saw the sustained winds. We've had gusts up to 44 miles per hour in Monroe and 41 miles per hour in Galena. Uh, the current gusts are anywhere between 25 and 35 miles per hour, and we're not going to lose the wind overnight tonight. In fact, I don't think we lose the wind uh, for the better part of the next couple of days. Tomorrow will be every bit as breezy, if not even more breezy. We do get a little bit of a reprieve here tomorrow night or early Thursday morning, but then on Thursday on the back side of a storm system, it'll be a northwesterly wind that gusts up to 40 or 45 miles per hour and will deliver us some much cooler conditions. But due to the gusty winds, the dry air, the drought worsening, I do still think that the fire danger will remain at least a talking point here as we go into tomorrow. So I would uh, highly discourage any sort of outdoor burning. Now, even though the majority of us are not under a red flag warning here today, the fire danger does exist area wide. These warnings will go down around six o'clock here tonight, but could be reissued here tomorrow. Now, overnight tonight, we will cloud over. Because of that, we are expecting things to be very warm. We might not fall much below 70 degrees. Mostly cloudy skies expected during the daytime tomorrow. Watch, though, then tomorrow evening as a line of showers and thunderstorms appears likely, if not certain, to race through the region. And there remains the possibility that these storms could be on the strong to severe side with gusty winds, large hail, and even an isolated tornado not out of the question. This would probably be actually late uh, evening and into the overnight hours here uh, tomorrow night. Then going into our Halloween, we'll ha hold on to a sprinkle chance early in the day, then a mostly cloudy sky, but dry conditions are expected. Uh, looking at trick or treat temperatures right around 50 degrees. And while the pattern looks quiet here for the next couple of days, it looks to be very active here next week where we could be looking at anywhere between three and four inches of much needed rainfall in what looks to be a very active week next week. Seven day forecast has us at 79 tomorrow with the fire danger and the strong storms. The reasons for our first alert 63 and falling on Halloween. Uh, Friday looks good. Saturday during the day looks good, but then yeah, it turns very active here. We're getting Saturday night taking us into Sunday, Monday and election day. And that's important to note here because I know early voting is still going on. Might want to take advantage of that while the weather is still nice here. If you don't want to fight the showers, uh, that will be very likely taking place for a good chunk of election day. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah, so the sky carp on the road, why aren't they playing today? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mark. The ice